Today I'm going to be changing out the throttle cables on my 2001 YZ426F. And the reason I'm changing the cables is uh, one of the cables is frayed up by the carburetor. <clears throat> so time to change them out. I've got the new cables ready, sitting right here. And first thing I'm going to do is uh, pull this boot back so I can um, split this thing apart. And there's uh, two screws on the, the housing for the throttle tube. So once those are taken out, um, these two pieces come apart basically and you can see the uh, cables on the throttle tube. The cables go into the carburetor up here and there's a cover right in this area and in order to access this a little bit better I'm going to be uh, taking off the coil. So um, I'm going to go ahead and loosen some of this stuff up and get some uh, videos as I'm going along here. Okay? Thanks. Okay, what I did was uh, pull the boot back away from the cable housing and I loosened the top screw and that's letting me turn this thing so I can access the, the bottom screw. Otherwise, you could also take off the, uh, the brake cylinder and um, not have to worry about it, but for me it's easier just to, to do it this way. So I'm going to remove both screws now and uh, split the housing apart. Okay, both screws are out and I'm not sure if you can see it, but um, there's, there's a notch in the housing where uh, the cable <coughs> um, fits into. So, and then there's also uh, like a pin on these And you can see uh, both of the pins are facing each other and when it's together in the housing it looks like this. And down here we have um, where the, the end of the cable goes into the, the throttle tube. Uh, this is where you get this thing out. Okay, so that one comes out like that. The second one, I'll try to get it a little bit better so you can see it coming out. Comes out just like that. Okay, and if you noticed, um, when, when the um, cables are in there, the, the holes are facing down towards the bottom. Okay, so I can get the cable off. I, I don't have to take the bark buster off or anything. So the top of the cable is free and it goes down um, through here behind the radiator and I might have to take some of that stuff off but if I'm lucky um, I will be able to slide the, uh, the cables through behind the radiator, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, next, as I said, I want to um, get the coil out of the way. So you just remove these two screws right here and uh, get the coil off to the side. And then the other thing is um, there's a cover on the carburetor here and there's one screw that has to come off to take take the plastic cover off. So we'll get those off. Okay, what I did here is uh, tied the coil with a uh, tie wrap, zip tie, onto the frame just to keep it out of the way. And then um, I had the bolt off for the, the cover and that cover will now uh, come right out of there. And Next thing that has to be done is uh, to loosen these nuts all the way back on the thread here um, so that the cable 
can be pushed out or uh, it could be taken out of here and then the uh, the end of the cable has to come off of the the throttle uh, control here so you need as much slack as possible so these bolts have to be loosened all the way off and um, taken out of here so we'll do that and as you can see um, the the cables I marked so I've got a T on this one to indicate that it's the top cable on the bracket but that won't matter um, Although I, I will match that cable up with the new one to make sure that I've got the right uh, cable on the okay. top. Okay, as I said, uh, you want to loosen these nuts to, in order to get the, uh, the cables out of there. So with that loose, now I can push that forward and uh, the cable has total slack on it and then I can swing that around and the end of the cable pops right out. Same thing with the top. And you might have to get a, a needle nose or something in there but looks like these are coming out. Okay. Uh, both cables are all the way out of the throttle mechanism and you can see here and the reason I'm replacing this guy is because of the uh, the frayed section that one is gonna break soon okay now the next challenge is getting these cables out behind the radiator and I'll see if I can do that. Okay, I just want to show that it looks like there's enough clearance back here behind the radiator and uh, they did come out. So that's good. You don't have to take anything else apart. Okay, the next thing I want to do here is make sure that the throttle cables are the correct length and I laid them out side by side. Um, Everything's looking good here. Um, as you can see, the new new cable has the boot on it and the little tabs. And also, um, you know, the ends are the same. And <clears throat> what I did was uh, I marked on the new one the, the T for the top cable. And <clears throat> the other thing that I've done is I <clears throat> made sure that the position of the nuts on the new ones are the same as on the old ones. And uh, what this is going to do is save me some time adjusting or not having to adjust it when I put the new ones back in. Because uh, all I did when I took them out is loosen the front nut in order to get them out of the, uh, the throttle or sorry, uh, the, the carburetor uh, throttle mechanism. So I should be able to just put these back in and tighten down the nuts and my throttle adjustment will be correct. Um, I don't want to get too much into the throttle adjustment now other than saying that the, um, the throttle has to open and close freely and not too much play in the cable. There should be a little bit of tension and uh, you'll know if, if the throttle isn't working properly. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these cables back in and I will get some more video of that. Alright, I've got the cable down behind the number plate and uh, through the forks and there is also uh, a piece that here that uh, the cables go through it's uh, like a guide or something like that and then I put the cables down behind the radiator and they're coming out um, 
up over the engine and eventually um, it'll go back onto the carburetor okay and uh, <clears throat> I just want to <clears throat> double check the position of the nuts in case they moved a little bit when I put them through there so I'll check that and I'm gonna hook them back up on the on the carburetor so that's it okay here you can see that I've got the cables um, positioned back up on the carburetor bracket and the cables are in the um, uh, the carburetor valve or control for the um, the throttle and uh, when I'm done I'm gonna tighten these these nuts up with a wrench but before I do that I want to uh, get the the cables position back up on the throttle tube and uh, you can see here that they just go back in the holes and around there and then uh, you have to put the uh, the guide back on there or the pieces that we we took off in the beginning okay finally um, these screws can be tightened back down and usually what I do is uh, um, I'll put a, a little bit of uh, tighten the the bottom one just so it's snug and then um, get this thing in position and you want to pay attention to where the throttle tube is especially if you have bark busters or even if you don't um, <clears throat> you don't want to push the throttle tube in too far because it'll it'll be going up against the end of the bar and it will cause uh, friction on the, the end of the throttle so <clears throat> you want to make sure you get this thing positioned correctly and then uh, tighten down the screws as I'm moving the throttle back and forth you can just see that there's a little bit of free play on the cables and it's going to allow the uh, the butterfly to open and close all the way okay so and then uh, last thing is again tighten these nuts up with a wrench and that should be it just put your cover back on uh, put the coil back in position and uh, get everything tightened up buttoned up and you're good to go